Hey guys, so I just wanted to share with you something that I'm going to be doing this year, um, soon actually, and what it is, is I'm actually pursuing enrollment into the Native American tribe that my grandfather was a tribal member of. Um, the only thing that is really difficult, this whole process is really confusing, and you know, a lot of people don't really hear about the things that have happened to Native Americans and their families throughout the years. Um, you hear bits and pieces and Canada has actually acknowledged, you know, some of the horrific stuff that was happening um, in Canada, but there was just as horrific things going on in America, you know, people ripped away from their families and you know different things like that and I'm gonna make a separate video talking about that but um, <clears throat> I feel like you know with my grandfather he always wanted somebody to have an interest somebody in the family to have an interest in tribal membership and the thing that really sucks about it is that you have to prove you know, you have to go through this whole process of trying to prove that you have enough blood quantum to be a part of the community. Now, my mother is not actually able to become a member of the tribe because she doesn't have enough blood quantum. And what that means is her percentage of Native American blood is not high enough to allow her to be you know, part of a Native American tribe, according to the U.S. government, which I think is ridiculous because, you know, her father was a member of the tribe and I don't understand why she shouldn't be able to do that or be allowed to. Um, one thing that I can say is that some tribes are more lenient than others, um, but the tribe that my grandfather was a member of is actually very strict with the blood quantum requirements and I actually have a higher blood quantum than my mother does because both my mother and my biological father have Native American blood. My biological father is actually um, a tribal member of his own tribe. Um, I am actually going to not try to become a tribal member of his tribe but my grandfather's tribe it's the same it they're both ottawa tribes but they're in different areas so they're different um but the thing is like i have to go through and show all types of court documents you know proving that my biological father is my father and that i was adopted um, which, you know, thankfully my mom has all that paperwork and she sent it to me and it's put away for safekeeping. But it just, it really bothers me that after everything that, you know, the United States government has done to Native Americans, the process to actually be labeled, you know, be considered as a member of, you know, the community that you were born into, because, you know, whether or not you're considered Native American to the government, if you were raised by Native American parents and, you know, you've grown up in that culture, you should be considered a Native American person. And, you know, there's also these things like even with my health insurance, they don't require co-pays for Native Americans, but they require co-pays for everybody else. And, you know, it, it's just a whole, I don't know. There's also certain, certain things that people say that drives me nuts. Like, you know, there is no comparison between Native American and Black people as far as, you know, Native Americans don't deserve reparations like Black people do. Um, Obviously, they're both different circumstances, but just like black people, my people, Native American people, had everything taken from them. You know, we were forced to assimilate to this brand new culture because people found America, you know, and 
Yes, there was brutal things that happened. There were Indian attacks, Native American attacks, all of that. But the thing is, how would you react if you, having had, you know, this land to yourself, suddenly have someone trying to take everything from you, trying to take your family from you, forcing you to not speak your native language? You know, that's why our native languages are dying out today because, you know, these Americans forced us to speak English, learn English, you know, all this other stuff. And like I said, I'm going to make a separate video talking about some different things with that. But I am proud of my culture. I'm proud of my heritage. And I will do whatever it takes to make sure that, you know, my children understand that they are Native American and, you know, that there's nothing wrong with being Native American and there's nothing wrong with, you know, learning your native language, which the native language is not English. You know, my mom and my stepdad are taking language classes at the college um, in Michigan, the where the tribal, I don't know if it's college or if it's just um, at the tribal center, I don't know. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to share some of my thoughts about, you know, the whole tribal enrollment process. If there's anybody out there who has gone through a tribal enrollment process before and has any tips for how to make it easier, um, you know, I would definitely appreciate that. Like I said, I have to fill out all the paperwork and request blood quantum information from the tribe that my biological father is a member of. And, you know, I have to do all of that before I can even apply to become a tribal member of my grandfather's tribe. I know it's confusing. Sorry if I just like blew your mind. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share. So I hope you guys are having a good day and I will see you guys again soon.